I'm Pete Vasilici, Senior Product Line Manager here at Wattstopper, and I'd like to take just a few minutes to introduce you to the new release 4.0 of the LMCS 100 software for digital lighting management. A key feature of DLM is its simplicity. The components automatically configure to the most energy efficient mode of operation just as soon as they're plugged together. Adjustments can then be made easily using the LMCT100 wireless commissioning tool. This will take care of the needs for most applications. However, there will always be applications where the sequence of operation needs to be more complex. DLM allows for this by providing adjustability for just about everything. While the more common adjustments can be made using the LMCT100, many more adjustments can be made using the LMCS100 configuration software. With the LMCS software, you can discover an installed room, read, adjust, and send back new device settings, set up preset scenes, and use LMCS to load new firmware into the room devices if required. Alternately, you can predefine rooms complete with customized settings for an entire building while offline, then connect to each room and load the settings into the room devices. To get started, you'll need to download the free LMCS 100 version 4 software from the Wattstopper website at www.wattstopper.com and you will need the LMCI 100 computer interface adapter. Let's start by connecting to a room and changing some device parameters. Plug the LMCI into a USB port on your PC. Then use a green Wattstopper LMRJ cable to connect the LMCI to any available port in any room device. In many cases, the most accessible port will be on a wall switch. Once you are connected to a room, open the application. You will see the LMCS splash screen, then the application's homepage. From here, I will click on the Discover Room button, which will open a dialog box where you can watch the progress as the room devices are discovered. When satisfied that all the devices have been discovered, click the Close button. The newly discovered room will appear in the tree view at the left of the screen. Click on the arrow to the left of the discovered room to reveal icons for the discovered devices. Let's click on an occupancy sensor. Notice the right portion of the screen now displays the current settings for this sensor. The top of the screen will be similar for most devices, however the settings will be specific to the device type. Note the tabs marked Basic and Advanced. Clicking on the Advanced tab will expose settings and information that will be less frequently used. I can now adjust some settings for the sensor. Let's reduce the time delay down to 15 minutes and lower the ultrasonic sensitivity a bit. Note that we are doing this in a tab marked Normal Hours. If your site is using Schedules, you can click on the After Hours tab and set alternate settings that will be in effect when the room is in the After Hours mode due to a schedule. This feature is available for both sensors and loads. Once the settings are adjusted, click on the Send button at the top of the screen to send the new settings to the sensor. A message in the lower left-hand corner of the screen will confirm that the send was successful. Keep in mind, the settings that are displayed on the screen are a snapshot from the discovery. At any time, you can click on the Read button to refresh the most current settings. However, this will overwrite any changes you have made in the software. Now, let's click on the Scene switch to set up a preset scene. I will click on Button 1, then click on the Edit button. While in the edit mode, the LMCS is live with the loads in the room. Note that adjusting the load slider actually dims the lights. Let's set a fade time of 10 seconds, then click the close button. Don't forget to click the send button to send the scene information to the room controller. Now let me show you how to pre-design a project offline. We want to start fresh, so I'll click on the new icon to open a new project. You will be prompted to save the project you currently have open. I'm going to not save it and allow the new project to open. I'm going to start by adding an area that I will name Floor 1. While Floor 1 is highlighted, I can click on the Add Room button to add as many rooms as are needed. Now I can click on each room in the tree and name it. This is a school, so let's name this Classroom 101 and the next Classroom 102. I can now add the room devices for Classroom 101. Click on the controller button 
and add a room controller. Click on the occupancy sensor button to add a sensor, then add a two button switch. Note that the appropriate icons are added to the tree as I add the devices. The devices will come into the project with default settings, but these can be modified if you wish. In order for the room we created offline to be a true copy of the actual installed room, it is necessary to synchronize the two. First, save your project, and you will need to be connected to the room as previously described. With the room highlighted in the tree, click the Sync Devices button to open the Synchronize Devices dialog box. You can watch as the actual devices are synced up with the devices in your offline project. Note that the offline devices now display serial numbers and are clones of their matching devices. Click on the Finalize button to complete the process. Note that the devices in the project must match the actual devices exactly. If they do not, an error will occur, indicating a mismatch. In this case, I neglected to add the LMBC 300 network bridge module to my offline design. Occasionally, Wattstopper will issue new firmware for various DLM room devices to add features or, heaven forbid, fix a bug. This firmware is stored in the LMCS software on your PC and is updated each time the LMCS software is updated. So it's important that you open LMCS occasionally while your PC is connected to the internet. This will allow it to automatically check for updates. To update room devices, connect to the room in the normal manner. From the home screen, click on support, then click on update firmware to open the update firmware dialog box. Then click on the update button. Another dialog box will open showing the room devices and the status of their current firmware. Devices that do not have the latest firmware will show as upgradable in the status column. Indicate which devices you would like to upgrade with a check in the box and then click the upgrade button. There you have it, a very quick tour of the new LMCS software. The perfect companion for your LMC T100 handheld commissioning tool when setting up a complex sequence of operation or to save a record of a DLM installation. For more information about this or other DLM applications, visit our website at www.wattstopper.com.